Why should one bother about hyperparameter tuning in machine learning? Well, it's akin to fine-tuning a musical instrument. To get the best performance, you need to adjust and optimize the settings. In the realm of machine learning, these settings are known as hyperparameters and their optimization is what we call hyperparameter tuning. Imagine a machine learning model as a complex machine with numerous dials and switches. These dials and switches represent the hyperparameters of the model. They control everything from how fast the model learns, the complexity of the model, to how it handles errors. The art of finding the best settings for these dials and switches is what we call hyperparameter tuning. Let's break down this process into manageable steps. The first step involves defining the model. This means selecting a machine learning algorithm like a decision tree or a neural network. Once you have your model, you can then identify the hyperparameters that need tuning. The next step is to establish a range or a list of potential values for each hyperparameter. You might be wondering, how do you know which values to choose? Well, experience and knowledge about the specific algorithm can guide your decision. However, don't worry if you're not sure. There are recommended ranges for most hyperparameters, and these can serve as a good starting point. Once you have your potential values, the third step is to choose a suitable method to search through these values. Grid search and random search are two popular methods. Grid search systematically works through every combination of hyperparameters, while random search selects random combinations in a specified range. The fourth step involves fitting the model with each combination of hyperparameters, and evaluating its performance using a chosen metric. This could be accuracy for a classification problem or mean squared error for a regression problem. The final step is selecting the best set of hyperparameters, those that resulted in the best model performance. With these optimal settings, you can then retrain your model and use it to make predictions. To summarize, hyperparameter tuning is a crucial step in the machine learning process. It involves defining the model and the hyperparameters, establishing a range of potential values for each hyperparameter, choosing a method to search through these values, fitting the model with each combination, and finally, selecting the best set of hyperparameters. Remember, the goal of hyperparameter tuning is not just to improve the performance of your model on your training data, but to make it more generalizable to unseen data. It's about finding a sweet spot between underfitting and overfitting, so, the next time you're working on a machine learning project, don't forget to fine-tune your model. It's like tuning an instrument. With the right adjustments, you can create a harmonious symphony of data-driven insights.